Welcome to this introduction to insulin. Many people with diabetes need insulin to control their blood sugars. It's normal to have questions about insulin and even to feel worried or scared. It's also important to learn about how insulin might help you. On top of everything else, the word insulin brings up a lot of different feelings for people. Let's explore some of the worries and questions people have about insulin. I'm scared of the needles, mm. I'm scared of sticking myself, mm. could I do it at home? And could I pull that dose out? Um, I got rid of the fear. I mean, it, it, it actually showed that it was, it was more painless than sticking your fingers. Uh, one of my fears was, it's kind of like there was a tape recording in my head that, uh, oh, I'd failed. So I, I've not gotten my act together and lost the weight I should have lost. And so now I'm one step deeper. As a diabetic, I have to take insulin. I was very upset, you know, I, I didn't want to take insulin, I didn't want, basically did not want to be diabetic at all, so I, I have always sort of fought against this, this diabetic thing, but I, I mean, I realize I am diabetic, but I've been kind of swimming against that for a long time, I don't know why, I, I have such a hard time admitting it. I never thought it was a, something serious and I didn't want to have it. <laughs> so I just totally ignored it for years. Uh, and then I en end up having to take insulin. And that was like, oh man, um, I didn't want it. I just total denial of having it and stuff like that. I wanted to cry, <laughs> you know, I was really sad, you know, and stuff like that. But what you gonna do? So I just, I think once I accepted it, that, okay, this is what it is, I can't change it, so let's, let's work it, you know? And that's what I think um, made me get right with it. At first, I was scared that it was gonna hurt. I didn't want people to think I was a drug addict or, you know, more so the pain, like it's gonna hurt real bad or something like that. Or, you know, after the, like the first 10 times, you know, the needle is so small, you don't really feel it too much. Taking care of your diabetes and your health depends on many things. Eating healthy portions, being active, and taking the right medications, including pills and insulin. It's important to keep your blood sugars in a safe range. Your blood sugar changes throughout the day, depending on your meals, your medication, and your activity level. The A1C test shows your average blood sugar over the last three months. For most people, keeping the A1C level under 7% is the best for protecting your eyes, kidneys, nerves, and heart. My numbers were like, you know, really high. So, you know, I was very, very concerned and uh, uh, it just uh, wasn't working out for me and I was very, very stressed out. Got to the point where I didn't even want to use my glucometer. Try to check your sugars as many times as possible. You know, once you feel like you're in control, like if you get a, a, a bigger picture of what your sugars are doing daily, you'll be more inclined to actually want to do more to take care of yourself. The more I test my blood sugar before and after uh, eating, the more uh, knowledge I gain. For example, I know now certain foods are unlikely to raise my blood sugar. At night I have to be very careful because I find that if you eat too much too late at night, then your blood sugars are high in the morning. But the more I learned about it, you know, the more I started doing it and everything until now it's like um, 
automatic. It's like brushing my teeth. You know, I wake up and automatically test my sugar. It will prevent a lot of problems later on down the line. It might not be problems that's going to happen within the next five or six years. I'm talking about 15, 20 years down the line. Insulin is a natural hormone made in the pancreas that controls your blood sugar. Normally, the pancreas makes all the insulin you need. If you have diabetes, your pancreas makes less and less insulin over time, and the blood sugars go up. That's why many people eventually need insulin injections. Sometimes uh, the pancreas produces um, you know, enough insulin, and sometimes it doesn't. And, uh, and sometimes, it, you know, sometimes it can get extreme where it doesn't produce anything at all. The insulin kind of helps, you know, offset if the pancreas doesn't produce enough, doesn't produce too little, you know, that kind of stuff. And, it, and the insulin kind of, you know, meets it halfway a little bit. I started gaining a picture of uh, self-knowledge. Okay, this is, this is the illness. This is, this is what happens. Uh, your body is no longer producing its own insulin. Uh, it starts off maybe reduced insulin, but eventually it kind of goes, and then, and then you have no insulin. And so uh, you have to make up for it by giving yourself a shot. It makes you feel better emotionally, mentally, physically. I mean, when my sugar's is high, I feel yucky, tired, drinking a lot. When my sugar's in normal range, I've got a lot more energy. I'm not very thirsty all the time. I'm not going to the bathroom 20,000 times. So it really helps your body. So what do you think about insulin now? Do you want to hear more from patients with diabetes who have chosen to start insulin and how it has helped them? I tried it and uh, it was uh, not a very big needle, just a little tiny, tiny needle. And uh, I tried it and uh, it, it didn't bother me, you know, at all. Uh, I injected it into, you know, a fatty part of my stomach and, uh, and it, it, I didn't feel a thing really. And I injected it, and it was just like one, two, three. I, so I was a bit uh, amazed. Can you believe it? I said, look at these num numbers. And I'm like sitting there just going, wow, this is wonderful. <laughs> well, then I'm, so, so then when I see that, I'm like, what did I do to make that happen? I need to take insulin, and it's not that big a deal. Doesn't hurt that much. It wasn't even as scary as I thought. I don't know, I want to stay healthy. I want to live as long as I can, you know. I got lots of grandchildren to enjoy, you know. Just living, period. So it, it helps me, you know, every day I think about it. You know, I, there's a lot of do's and don'ts that I don't do that, you know, I did a lot before, you know, changing my habits. That's, that was, I think that was the hardest part, changing habits, because it takes kind of a long time. It took me years to get like where I am now. But it happens, it's just patience. Don't be afraid, you know, it, it's okay. You know what I mean? You could be afraid for a minute until you get used to it. You know, just get over that fear of it. Don't be afraid to take the insulin. Don't be afraid of it. When I did start taking the right doses, it just made a huge difference in my sugars. And you know, I could see waking up in the morning and have them pretty close to normal. You know, it's big. It's a habit now. It's a habit. It's just part of my routine. I think, I really do think, and at the few sessions that I've been here with others, that people are afraid of what others think. Don't bother. Do it for yourself. You're the one that has diabetes. Do it for yourself. 
Now it's up to you. What's important to you? How can we help you get there? Are you ready to start insulin?